What is shared decision-making and, and how does it work? So to me, basically what that means is that uh, patients and providers are working together to decide what are the best steps to take in a patient's treatment plan, essentially. You know, I see my role as the provider being to um, sort of lay out the menu of options and try to, of course, offer some guidance about which might be the best, which are less preferred, why that is. Um, but then, you know, to guide the discussion and then have a uh, subsequent, you know, conversation with the patient about how does how do they take in that information? What feels like the right fit to them? Um, and then, you know, incorporate their preferences uh, into the actual plan we make in terms of how to go forward. Well, what role do patients play in the decision making? Ah, well, I, I think the patients play the most important role ultimately. You know, what I always say to patients is I'm always going to try to offer my opinion. Again, you know, lay out a, a variety of different options and then offer my opinion because I think I would imagine it could be frustrating if you're a patient and you go to a doctor and they say like, here are five options and you can just select between them. So, you know, it's definitely, I think the physician's role to try to put some, you know, value judgments or comparisons of the different options, but, you know, ultimately basically every single decision is the patient's and, you know, I can tell them that's what I would have done or that's not what I would have done, but I understand where you're coming from. Um, you know, I, again, it's not like your physician isn't there to guide you and give feedback and try to tell you what the best choice is, but, but actually ultimately, um, you know, in breast cancer management and in every medical issue, you know, it is ultimately the patient's decision. So their voice is the most uh, important one. Mm -hmm.